So here I have my desktop version. As you can see from the bottom, here's my eMark. I'm connected to the USB. That must be on USB when you're using USB. I've connected my eMark to my um, USB cable and the USB is also connected to the laptop. You'll see a pink light on the back right of the eMark. That indicates you are connected to the desktop. If it's blue, you're connected to your mobile device. Now the reason we recommend that you connect to the USB is so as you don't use, lose your Wi-Fi. You can still use Wi-Fi whilst you're connected to your eMark app. I'm connected, my battery level there, my ink level, sound, my firmware. I'm going to quickly take you through settings. So there's my language, you can of course change that. English United Kingdom for my date format. My measurement unit is millimetres, I can change that to inches. My data, I can pop my data in here. Any changes you make, please remember to press save. Just going back there. So you can search for updates, you can do backups. Um, there's my eMarks. I can have more than one eMark connected. So um, just go down here, and if you do have more than one, you'll see them in here. So just going back here, so the eMark sound is on, it's on channel 11. And there's my quick cleaning and my sleep mode. Any changes you make in here, always remember to press save. Just going back to the settings, start quick cleaning. You can, of course, do this on a mobile app as well. If you're using this process, then what I recommend you do is fold a piece of paper two or three times before you put your e-mark onto your paper. Click this and then your uh, deep cleaning will start. The reason I say that is because it um, releases quite a lot of ink and um, it will go through if it's a, a single sheet. So there's your firmware update and the version is 1.8.2. So let's create a new imprint. As you can see here, you can create a new one. If you click on all, this will show you all the preloaded templates that you have on here, just as we have with the mobile device. We have addresses, dates, stock text, numbering, labels, sayings and statements, motivation and wishes. If you want to generate a QR code or print a barcode, you'll go into this one here, various, and then you can access more templates online. But let's create a new imprint. So I'm going to use a one line imprint that's already highlighted, so I click OK. Click on text. There's my box, but to print something in there, I need to click on the box below here. So I'm just going to put my name. And I can change the font by clicking on here. I can change the size. I can change the color up here. I can make it bold, um, print into the left, central, or to the right. Also up here, I could put um, a date and time. I can add some clip art, which I'm going to do. Now, I've already mentioned that those of you that just want to use your desktop version, you can't use your create on here, but we've given you lots of um, clip art. So, love and celebrations. Do remember to scroll up and down because there are so many on here for you to use. Nature, animals, food and drink, frames and separators, pig toes, smiley faces. So let me use something from nature, that's one of my favourites, and I'm going to put a flower in there. So the imprint or the image I'm wanting to use always goes to the front of my imprint, so I just move that across like so. I can also use my grid if I'm wanting to um, be precise with my imprints. I can also zoom and if I click on zoom you will see I have the option of making that smaller or bigger. I'll click on zoom to put it back to normal. Okay so for example I'm just going to move my name across here. Foreground. If I want my name to be in the foreground then I click on foreground. If I want it to be in the background I'll click on background to move it back I would just click on foreground, like so. OK, 
okay and then I can move my work up or down I can also delete anything that's highlighted will be deleted but if I want to undo that I can click on undo and use the redo too so I'll just move that back and um, I've just duplicated that so let me just show you that duplication if I want to duplicate that further, I will click on duplicate as many times as I want to duplicate it. So I've clicked on two times. There's my first one and there's my second one. And as before, if that is not in the um, imprint line, when I print this out, I'll only have half an imprint. So do make sure that your work is nicely in that position here. So. I have now got the imprint that I want and in order to send that to the eMark I save and add my imprint to the queue but I need to name it so just name it as anything you want click OK and then it will move it to the eMark connect box as you can see I already have a few imprints in here so this is the one I've just done and these are two that I did previously if I was to press send imprint to eMark now, it would print this one first, then this one, and then this one. So if you only want the one to print, just delete the ones that you don't want to print. Here you can see my imprints, and over here you can see the imprints that are on the eMark. So I've already added one to the blue. If I want to add one to the pink, I can just add this one for example and do you want to replace the imprints already on there so I'm going to click yes and there I have it so if I go into my imprints this just gives you a detailed um, list of those that are already in there so as you can see the desktop is although it looks rather different different it is quite similar to the mobile 